Plant roots play an important role in terrestrial water and nutrient cycling, as they form an important link between the soil and the atmosphere. Future agricultural systems will face various challenges. There's climate change and this will result in higher variability of rainfall patterns, for example in an increased risk of drought periods. Additionally, fertilizer inputs need to be reduced in order to reduce greenhouse gases to prevent further climate change or also to prevent eutrophication of water bodies. Therefore, water and nutrients may not be as easily available to plants and thus root architecture and root characteristics are key to ensure the plants access to these important resources. And this will affect, of course, the yield yield stability as well as the environmental sustainability of these agricultural systems. My name is Andrea Schnepf. I'm a research group leader here at Agrosphere Institute at the Forschungszentrum Jülich. In our group we are interested in root and soil interactions uh, using both experimental methods and modeling approaches. In many current projects, we are involved in observation and management of root systems, analyzing different environmental conditions in order to better understand, for example, the resource uptake efficiency by different crops. To observe root growth, root morphology and architecture, we use two- and three-dimensional imaging techniques, both in field and laboratory experiments. The methods include photographic techniques, hyperspectral imaging, magnetic resonance imaging, and X-ray computed tomography. These methods are complemented by field sensing based on electrical and electromagnetic methods, as well as destructive methods such as root washing and scanning. For the systematic analysis of all these different data, we develop different specific workflows. And I would like to draw your attention to one of these workflows that was developed in collaboration with the Jülich Supercomputing Center. Three-dimensional images of soil-grown roots are created using magnetic resonance imaging. And this is necessary as the soil is opaque and we could otherwise not see the roots. These raw images are then pre-processed and segmented using artificial intelligence algorithms that become increasingly available. The segmented image is then converted into a root geometry with the help of a virtual reality software programmed specifically for this purpose. This step delivers a root tracing that informs us about the positions, the diameters and the connections of all the roots and these geometries can then be used in simulations and parameter estimations of the soil root plant system, so-called functional structural plant models. Functional structural plant models are a tool to simulate root growth and its interaction with the soil. For example, revealing resource uptake efficiency. Simulation models help to better understand these systems that we simulate and support also the design of experiments. Observations can be interpreted and hypotheses can be verified or falsified. To better understand plants in the field, it is necessary to study both the individual plant and its interaction with other plants, especially below ground. The combined use of experiments, observations and model simulations on different spatial and temporal scales is necessary to improve our understanding of the soil plant atmosphere system. Among other things, this will allow us to choose the optimal root phenotype and management measures under future climate scenarios. And this could contribute to uh, reaching global development goals.